Hey guys, this is Sam, and today I want to show you some more changes inside of iOS 11 Beta 6. If you missed my original video, I'll link it up here in the top right hand corner of the screen. Let's go ahead and jump into everything else that's changed. One of the biggest changes in iOS 11 Beta 6 that I highlighted in my first video was the addition of a refresh App Store icon. And not only will you notice this on the home screen, in iOS 11 Beta 6 they have changed it everywhere. In the Apple Watch app for the App Store tab icon, in settings, in the Messages application for App Store iMessage apps, like it is everywhere on your device and you're going to notice those changes everywhere. So although the hot dog design of the icon is still a little bit questionable, I think overall it's a good change and it definitely makes iOS 11 feel new in a lot of different places. Next up, if you're listening to music and you head over to the cover sheet slash lock screen slash notification center area in iOS 11, you're going to get this really nice animation for the music widget. Now it's not a huge change, but it makes things flow better and it's another really small change. This has been one of the biggest things for me in iOS 11 is that I really appreciate Apple working on a lot of the small changes, in addition to adding a lot of huge features as well. They're all adding together and it just makes the operating system feel really fluid and natural. Next up is a really annoying bug fix that I want to highlight. In iOS 11 beta 6, Apple has finally corrected the screenshot edit UI right here. Previously, the done button was up in the screen and the arrows were cut off. It looked really strange, but Apple has finally taken the time to fix that so it looks normal in iOS 11 beta 6. Another newly discovered change in iOS 11 beta 6 is when you would either try to pair AirPods or hold them near your device, you get this really slick looking spinning animation that would give you an overview of the headphones or a visual overview of the headphones that you're about to connect. Well, it turns out that Apple also did the same for Beats Solo 3s and the Beats X headphones as well. I would assume for now it's only going to be the devices with the Apple W1 audio chip on the inside because that's what allows them to connect so easily in the first place, but they all look really great. They all have their own unique look, although even though I have Beats Solo 3s in black, it showed me a white version, so they aren't color matched, but it's still a really nice animation that you're going to see whenever you try to to initially connect these headphones. Now this next feature is really important and something that I want to highlight and it ties into emergency SOS. So in iOS 11 beta 6, if you click the lock slash power button five times rapidly to show the emergency SOS dialog, you're going to see these options slide to power off. If you have medical ID set up, you'll see that. And then also emergency SOS. Now I want to warn you guys, do not mess around with that setting because if you do, legit emergency services are called and I was not able to cancel it when I tried the first time. Even though I hit cancel, I got a call back within just a couple of minutes making sure that I was okay. So if you want to mess around with that sitting, I would just say do it at your own discretion because the cops actually showed up at my door and it's a story that I told in another video, but they will show up. Anyway, this feature in iOS 11 beta 6 has to do with Touch ID versus your passcode. So if you click the power and lock button five times now, your fingerprint will not work after you do that. So if you go back to the lock screen, you can see it says, Touch ID does not work. You have to enter your passcode to unlock your device. That's because if you were in a bad spot and somebody was just trying to get you to hold your finger up to your phone to release some information on your phone or view your photos, they now have to know your passcode. They can't just have your fingerprint they're gonna need to know the code itself. If you value your security, I think this is a really big deal because if you press the power or lock button five times in a row, it's not gonna automatically call the authorities, but it's gonna disable Touch ID so that somebody will have a slightly harder time at getting into your device. Moving on to our next feature in the AirPlay slash output UI and music, there is a new CarPlay icon for when your device is connected through CarPlay. Next up in the settings app, inside of the photos preference panel, there is a new Siri and search option that I assume will allow you to either index or not index your photos when you're searching for them through Spotlight and through Siri. And finally in Control Center, the pulsating radar area in the top right hand corner of the music widget is going to turn blue when you're connected to something using Bluetooth, which is small, but also pretty cool. There's two more things that I want to hit on before wrapping up this video that are very important. So performance and battery life. Performance is definitely getting better as we continue to go along to the iOS 11 betas. From about beta 3 to 5, I did not notice any change in performance, but on iOS 11 beta 6, things are definitely faster than before with the lock screen animation, opening and closing apps. That seems to be much more responsive than before, not by a crazy amount, but definitely something that I noticed. And battery life is also a big deal. It is getting better, and so far in the iOS 11 beta cycle, iOS 11 beta 6 for me has been the best version of iOS 11 for battery life so far. Now keep in mind when I say that, before you go crazy and start installing this beta, it is still worse than iOS 10. That is what I'm guessing. I haven't really been using a device with iOS 10, but it doesn't feel as good as iOS 10 to me. And number two, it's going to totally vary based on how much and how often you use your device and what device you're using. I'm on an iPhone 7. I'm on the newest device on the market right now. 
So it's pretty good. On an iPhone 7 Plus, I would assume you have better battery life because you have a bigger battery. But at the same time, I've also read a lot of reports saying that battery life on the iPhone 7 Plus has been really bad. So let me know down below in the comment section if you're running iOS 11 beta 6 or the latest iOS 11 beta, how your battery life and performance has been. For me, it's the best out of any beta I've used so far, but I would love to hear your thoughts. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, it would really help me out and I'd seriously appreciate it if you hit that like button down below and of course hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great and I'll talk to you later.